Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu on April 5 again denounced the agreement between Tehran and world powers as a bad deal that will strengthen Iran's military and leave it with a large nuclear infrastructure. An outline deal agreed in Switzerland on Thursday paves the way for Tehran to curtail its nuclear activity in exchange for relief from punishing economic sanctions. It doesn't roll back Iran's nuclear program, Netanyahu told CNN, one of several U.S. networks he appeared on to slam the deal. It keeps a vast nuclear infrastructure in place. Not a single centrifuge is destroyed. Not a single nuclear facility is shut down including the underground facilities that they built illicitly. Thousands of centrifuges will keep spinning enriching uranium. That's a bad deal. Israel's government reacted angrily to the historic deal, which is set to be finalized by June 30, with Netanyahu demanding that Iranian recognition of the Jewish state's right to exist be written into the deal. If a country that vows to annihilate us and is working every day with conventional means and unconventional means to achieve that end, if that country has a deal that paves its way to nuclear weapons, many nuclear weapons, it endangers our survival, the Prime Minister said. I'll tell you what else will happen, he added. I think it will also spark an arms race with the Sunni states, a reference to Gulf monarchies. Saudi Arabia, like most of the Gulf countries, is wary of its regional rival Iran. Relations between Israel and its traditionally staunch U.S. ally are at an all-time low and were hugely damaged when Netanyahu took the unprecedented step of addressing Congress last month to attack the nuclear negotiations with Iran. When asked if he trusts President Barack Obama, Netanyahu replied, I trust that the president is doing what he thinks is good for the United States but I think that we can have a legitimate difference of opinion on this because I think Iran has shown to be completely distrustful. One part of the complex deal would see Iran slash by more than two-thirds the number of uranium centrifuges which can make fuel for nuclear power but also the core of a nuclear bomb to 6,104 from around 19,000 for 10 years.